At WAVE, the road ahead is exciting. We sent three prototype vehicles from Silicon Valley all the way up the west coast to here, Vancouver. Through cities we've never been to before, on roads we've never seen before. And today we follow the fleet as they cross back over the border down to Seattle. 250 kilometers with no high definition maps, no pre-programmed routes, just our AI driving intelligence, safely navigating the roads just like an expert human. This road trip is a huge deal for WAVE. We've taken our cars that have been trained on the roads of London and San Francisco, and we brought them up here to Vancouver. The more places we take our AI driver to and test it, the more data we capture, the more diversity in that, the better everything gets everywhere. We've built our AI to handle just this. What makes machine learning different at WAVE is the end-to-end -end approach, which means that we're learning to drive like a human and not like a machine. At the core of it all is safety. Our AI learns to understand and replicate safe driving behaviours, a new paradigm for building trust in autonomy. This coastline and mountain pass are entirely new to us and they're not represented in our existing training dataset. Yet our vehicles have generalised remarkably well to this unfamiliar environment. Our approach, AV 2.0, is a radical departure from traditional self-driving stacks. Once trained, a driving model is deployed to any vehicle. That's what makes the Wave AI driver truly platform agnostic. Our foundation model powers everything from ADAS to hands-free automated driving. And that's why we constantly want to prove that our AI can adapt to different scenarios and ultimately be deployed anywhere around the world. This first North American road trip is more than just a test. It's a step toward a new era of mobility, where vehicles are intelligent, adaptable, and safe for everyone. This road trip has shown us what's possible. To see the Wave AI driver respond to situations it's never seen before and get them right is what we've been working towards. For automakers wanting to scale driving automation, this is the future.